Stevens and Sundown at Salem as tickets on sale also. Uh, Mr. Sport in Medford. Cards coming up there in Albany. The sports page. Fidelity Lane Digging Office in Seattle. Looking for one coming up here in Oakville. Can't quite make out which shop that is. But uh, you check around there. Well, we got a ring for The next event will be a 13-man over-the-top battle royal. The 13th man left in the ring wins the $2,000 prize purse. The last man left in the ring. Everything goes inside the ring. The man is eliminated when he goes over the top rope and hits the floor. Introducing the following participants. From Sacramento, Steve Pardee. From Scotland, Rowdy Roddy Piper. From San Mateo, Mike Hennessy. From France, Ricky Martel. From Florida, Ricky Hunter. From Pendleton, Tough Tony Bourne. From Italy, Sal Martino. From New Zealand, the Sheep Herders, Luke Miller and Luke Williams and Butch Miller. From Los Angeles, Chris Colt. From Russia, Igor Botov. From Las Vegas, Playboy Buddy Rose. And from Kentucky, the sensational Rip Rogers. Well, 13 of them and smiling. Rip Rogers, the hustler. Miller, we understand. Really screaming earlier tonight. Let's settle this between you and me, Rose. Let's put guards around the ring. They're going at each other. And outside the ring, he has not yet come in the ring, is Rose. And the sheep herders are after him immediately. You got to go out over the top rope. Your feet hit the floor. You're disqualified. Now there he goes between the ropes. Rose. All right. They're trying to get Rip Rogers out over that top rope. They are going at it. Rose hiding out. There in the corner. Rose catches one, but he's not out yet. Rogers. And not quite sure why Piper helped Rogers. She's no great friend of the Sheep Herders after what they've been through. Now the Sheep Herders have Rogers. And I do believe Hennessy went over the top rope. It is hard to see it all. We'll try to watch it. 13 of them in there. Would be a minimum $1,500 purse. Probably more with some side bets. Tennessee is out. Rose still by a time. He hasn't spent much time in that ring. But he gets out without disqualifying himself. Martino did a complete flip. Drop kick from Fardy put him out. Martino's out and he landed hard. Martino, I think, is hurt. Martino may have done in his knee. Rose pulling on the trunks of Piper. Working on it from outside. Rose goes out there 
Piper does and catches him. A throw and away. Now Colt is out there, and Piper went on it away. Colt was picked. Rose heads for the dressing room. Martino is halfway up the aisle, turned to threaten him. So he turns back toward the ring. Colt is out. No, check that. Colt is not out. He was outside the ring while that was happening, but he got out legally. Tim Stilly and Volkoff near to going out. And he's saved by Rose, stripping Bourne. And over the top rope, Piper trying to stay in. The Shepard is giving him a hand. Not a round of applause, and they gave him assistance. Volkoff trying to get Bourne out and is successful. Tony Bourne is out. And outside the ring, hiding is Colt. Now he is out legally. He's not been uh, disqualified from the competition. Rose is Miller out. Left hand side of your screen. He was running Miller toward the ring post. Miller stopped short and Rose hit the ring post. Hardy working on Piper. Piper hanging on the top rope. Flops back in. Rose gets it again from Miller. Outside the ring. Rose being worked on by Miller. Backbreaker to Pardee inside the ring. See if now Piper can count him out of the referees there to count. Still in the sheep herders. Walk off trying to get Miller out. Pardee is out. And Rogers' foot has not hit the floor yet. Piper and Martell all come over the top. Rose. Rip Rogers got taken out, but it cost Piper and Martell their shot. And watch out, Rose getting on Miller. Miller drags him into the ring. There goes Colt. Colt is out. We're down to five. The Sheep Herders, Volkoff, Rose, and Hunter. Rose. Working on way, and Chicago's over to help both Volkoff. And Hunter is tossed out. Volkoff and Rose in. They suddenly realize that Volkoff does. They go, okay. Shall we work together as a team? So Rose has lasted long enough. Volkoff is out. Uh oh. Rose is in against the Sheep Herders. The two of them, and you can bet on what they've got to get scores. They'll probably go for more. And just a win. They'll probably try to get in. There's a fan down at ringside getting in with a cane. He's on Rose's side, it looks like. A wild man in there, out of the crowd. They're trying to stop him. They put him through. He's chasing the security people out. On loads. He's got a mask on. Oh, somebody out of the crowd. That's Waskowski. 
I just got to look at his stats, Ed Boskowski. That's not a fan. I don't know if anyone else has realized it yet. Someone out of the crowd. And Wyskowski coming in there with a heavy cane. And I'm sure that's Wyskowski. And Rose, you see Rose working with him now. Here comes Piper and Martell. That is Wyskowski. The mask comes down. Ed Wyskowski, one of the wildest. Oh, my God. Coming out of the crowd and disabling just about everybody, including two or three of the security people. Well, I don't even know. We had the sheep herders in there against Rose and what Sandy Barr will come up with in a way of a, uh, a ruling as to the winner. You see it, the sheep herders are down, Martino's down, Hennessy. He went in there with a very heavy walking stick. He appeared to be just another fan coming down by the ring and suddenly tore into the ring and it just in a melee, went after the sheep herders, helping Rhodes. The security people came in. They couldn't do anything with him. The other wrestlers came out of the ring. And I am sure it's been a while, a year, since he mysteri uh, disappeared rather mysteriously. We'll have to wait for some confirmation, but having seen that face many, many times, I'm quite sure that was Ed Wyskowski coming in there, and of course that would fit in with what uh, what uh, he has been saying, that is Rose has been saying, about having a surprise. So he certainly had, let's listen to Sandy Ball. For those people who didn't see who that was that climbed in the ring, it was Ed Wyskowski, and because he came in here, he wasn't booked to be on this card. I'm awarding the match to both Butch Miller and Luke Williams. Okay, it is 2000. Up for scene, the co-winners, the Sheep Herders. I'll try to get a word with him. Fresh. Fresh. I don't know what happened out there, Frank. I don't know what was half his sleeve or who he paid off to hop in that ring. But Frank, that's the hardest I've been hit, Frank. You're gonna have to help me, Frank. Frank. With Rose, all we had to do was do what the people of Portland wanted us to do, and that was destroy Rose right there in front of everybody. And then, then came the guy with the cane, Frank. Then came the guy that whacked me over the head. In my stomach! In my ribs! Oh, Frank. Rose! Rose! Last Saturday, Rose! Our match was stopped because of blood and because of all those idiots! Tuesday, no disqualification, anything goes Rose, and I got your mask off and you ran away.
Well, this time, Wells, this time you're going to be in a New Zealand. A New Zealand lumberjack, Wells. I got a little word down for Don Owens. He said he's going to put guys all around the ring, Wells. And when I'm with you next Saturday night, no matter how much you run, or how much you try to get out of that ring, Wells, I'm going to get even for this. I'm going to get even, Wells, if that's the last thing I do. That's the Sheep Perkins, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back. Tom Peterson first with this word. Well, well, the club wielder from out of the crowd behind the mask, Ed Wyskowski. You know, I have been greeted in many places, many ways. When I landed in Hawaii, they met me with a beautiful lay. When I landed in Portland, Oregon, I was met with a mask. But I have reason to hide behind this disguise. I was laying in the California sun when Mr. Rose called me. He said, you've got to help me. I've got a problem with some ignorant sheep herders. Well, myself, knowing the ignorance of sheep herders and the people of the Northwest, I thought I might just disguise myself a little as a Northwesterner. So, Rose, I beat him to death for you, buddy. And this is just the beginning. There's a lot more to come. Ed Wyskowski makes his return. We'll make our return to the ring right after we go back to the studio for this message. Buddy Rose and Ed Wyskowski. Next Saturday night, Butch Miller wants me in a lumberjack match. Well, I'll tell you what. I don't know what they're trying to do, but there's one good thing. I've got Ed as my partner in Seattle. I've got Ed as my partner in Salem. I've got Ed as my partner in Eugene. i got him as my partner everywhere because we're running the sheep herders out, whether it be tomorrow, a week, two weeks. But as far as the guards go, one good thing about this lumberjack match, Wiskowski, you're not going to let me down, are you? No way, Rose. You know, I can't be in there with you, but I'll be by ringside to protect you in any way that I can. <laughs> Ed Wyskowski is back! Now, you did it beautiful. Did you see what the man did? Not only did he knock down Miller, not only did he knock down Liz, he knocked down Barney, Martino, Piper. They were all flying. The guards were flying. Wyskowski. You are ready, and next week, my guard. Don Owen is up here. I didn't know this guy was even in, even in the country, but after what he did tonight, we're going to have guards around the ring, all right, but it isn't going to be with Stasi, because you're going to be barred from the arena in the city of Portland, and you can't be here Saturday night, or you'll be suspended. He's suspended, suspended from the arena. He's going to be suspended from the arena tonight. He can wrestle any place else, but he's not going to be in Portland even in the arena. Okay, that, that is the commission ruling. He can't appear in Seattle, Eugene, all the other towns, but he cannot be here in the arena next Saturday night. That's the ruling. Sheep herders had to pay Owens up. You people, you think I'm going in there along with Butch but Miller? You know what we got to do? In Salem and in Eugene, we've got to hurt him, Wisconsin. We've got to hurt him before Saturday. Can we do it? I'm serious. Can we do it? Yes. We can do it, Mr. Rose. I feel we can do it. And I've got friends in high places. Believe me. You let the people down twice. Three strikes and you're going to be out after Saturday. Well, that's the Playboy Buddy Rose. I'm frightened.